thing. You know, the thing about anger is it, it has been so, it has been brutalized out of women. Mm -hmm. Really it has. And there is so much stuff in menopause literature and research about how anger is a problem for menopausal women. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could just rage. Maybe we could just be allowed to fucking rage. I mean, is it rage or is it age? Is it just finally that we've gotten old enough to just go, fuck this shit? Yes. I'm yes. just older and it's pissing me off that this, yeah. this, this, and this have been going on for 60 years now. Yep. You know, maybe it's age, not rage. Yeah. And there are cultures where it's it's not seen as bad and wrong. Yeah. It's an amazing study. I think it's from 1999, 1998. Anyway, it's about uh, Highland, Mayan, Guatemalan women and their experience of menopause and how the rage is understood to be the rising of the animal spirit. Mm. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not? Yeah. Why should I, why, why would I medicate that away? Right. You know, oh maybe it's simply that we've just got pissed off with the shit for 50 odd years. Yeah. And that's the anger that we're feeling. Yeah. That's how I that. feel. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. feel like having a lifetime of suppressing my needs, my emotions, not expressing my boundaries. I literally hit a wall when I was around 41 or so. It was like, I can't do this anymore. It's not... It's not like across the board. I, I still have struggles with that, but I'm so much quicker to hear my anger and feel it. And it's not a um, me like suddenly having a reaction and yelling at someone. I just feel it. And then it's like, oh, what do I do with this? Oh, I need to put a bound. You know what I mean? Like, it's not something that really moves out of me a lot, but I feel it fire up a lot. You know, it's like, oh, okay, we got to do something here.